everybody, this is Praxis, and we're back on site at the homestead location. We have our contractor here. He's helping me to clear. I've been doing some trimming of trees just over here off to your left. Uh, he's taking the big stuff. I'm taking the small stuff that I can get with my chainsaw, and we're making a lot of progress today. It's a beautiful day. The mist is coming out, and uh, it's going all right. I've got River is here with me today. He's down over here, uh, and... Uh, He's been playing in the snow, but it's been hard keeping him motivated and entertained while I do all of this stuff. Uh, I, there's only so much I want to explain to him about like why there's an urgency behind doing all of this. Uh, you know, I, you know, you don't want to scare kids about the, you know, the potentials in the world. Oftentimes, I think uh, it wouldn't really do any good. It would, you know, give them nightmares, and then they'd be up at night, and then that would, you know, take more energy out of you as well. So overall, I think it's a negative spreading that kind of a fear. So I'm. You know, just trying to keep them motivated in the best way that I can to allow me to spend as much time doing this kind of stuff. Uh, we've got basically the entire house area cleared at this point, and now what we're doing is getting a perimeter around it. And that's something that's normal to construction, just having a place where the vehicles, you know, construction vehicles can get up and around the, the site where you're going to be building. But in particular for this house, we need it opened up to the south, which is behind you, and we need to be able to have access to the sun. So we're, you know, clearing a few more trees than we we otherwise would. We're going at kind of a quick speed to get the, all this stuff in. A lot of really great firewood is just gonna get buried. Uh, I need some clean fill to bury around the house anyway, so I'm, it's kind of being used for something, but at the same time, it feels like kind of a loss. There's a lot of poplar. There are some maples that we're cutting down, which would be really great firewood, but you know, we've got a whole forest. We'll be able to figure it out later. And this house is gonna be so energy efficient. We probably won't need that much firewood anyway. The last house that I built used about like a cord and a half uh, you know, for the entire year to keep warm. This house is going to have way more insulation and is going to have a lot of, I think, ingenious <laughs> little uh, ideas built into it. So hopefully we aren't even going to need that much firewood. But still, you can see going on behind you over here, um, it, it, it kind of bugs me burying all this, you know, really great fuel. So that's it. Got a lot more cutting to do today. And I, I'm feeling some momentum. Hopefully, within a week or so, we'll start being able to have concrete poured in here.